Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. The time has come to address this issue. I have the new aquarium here, the old aquarium there. The new aquarium's been a bit of furniture more than anything else for the best part of a week because it's so heavy I can't move it on my own. So I'm going to try and bribe a teenager and a wife to see if I can help them get me all this shifted. Plan is to get this tank, which is my old discus display tank, get that off get some uh, polystyrene I've got down here, down as a base, and get the new tank on. See how we go on. So this is the new tank. It's designed to be as close as possible to the old tank, so as all the camera tray, etc. fits. It is by OA Aquaria, as you can see. So it's a bespoke tank, custom built to meet my requirements, which are two overflows on that side and one over or return on that side so three holes in total the changes that i've made over the previous tank the previous tank was open topped but we've gone for glass sliders on this one just to keep the condensation down uh, improve with the heat retention all that good stuff and i've gone with clear silicon rather than black silicon on this one but very happy with all the corners everything looks top notch black vinyl background again a controversial choice for the discus world given that they don't like black backgrounds very much but mine have always been pretty good with it I think always pairing it with light coloured sand helps but yeah obviously it's braced um, but other than that because it's going to be covered with a pelmet it's going to look pretty good what do you think? So that's it in situ. Everything seems to be okay. Um, obviously I've got loads of cabinetry and stuff to go on this, but we'll leave it bare just now while I work on it. Um, I mentioned before that I got this tank custom made. It was made by OA Aquaria. Um, not gonna lie, I did get a discount for asking if I could include it in a video, but it was turned around really quickly. I don't think I was given any preferential treatment as such. I definitely recommend them for the ordering process. They were meticulous about where do I want the holes, talking about how many millimetres from the top I wanted the lids. Um, really, really detailed, friendly, quick communication and easy. All done by email. Um, so I definitely recommend them from that point of view. I'm loving the seams. There's really good, uniform, sharp seams. Quite often you'll get in any manufacturing process with silicon and things like that, there'll be blobs all over the place. But the bits that are going to remain visible, specifically, are going to be these bits around here. And they all look really clean and sharp. Um, yeah, really happy with it. It's got an OptiWhite front, uh, the vinyl back, and then the holes drilled where I wanted them. And yeah, everything is exactly as I wanted it. I think I got OptiWhite sides as well. Very happy. So obviously I asked for it in the same dimensions as the old tank, just so as I could reuse this tank this tank stand. Uh, I've got a steel stand here and all the cabinetry already to go back on it. And yeah, it's exactly the right size, <laughs> thank God. So all I had to do was get some polystyrene for the tank to sit on. Yeah, looks great. I'm really, really happy with it. So now, I just want to start getting it scaped. So all the stuff that I took out of the old one that was broken up is mostly in there. I'm going to start getting it in there, move things around, see how close I can get to what I had the last time and what I want, and then hopefully we'll get it filled and get some fish in it. So watch this space. First of all, I need to get everything hooked up. I need to get the overflows in the holes. Uh, and returns and overflows, should I say. So we'll do that bit first. One handy hint I've found when working on big tanks is these things here. They're like furniture removal tools, like wheels, just so when you want to get around the back of the tank to do things like overflows, you can just move it around really easily. There you go, that's today's top tip. That's all the pipe work in. So the return over there, the two overflows. I kind of custom designed these overflow covers. These are just prototypes, but you know, overflow covers with my logo on them. It's not worked very well, but on V2, that'll probably work quite well. 
but yes, yeah, so all the pipe work around the back now is done. See, got the two pipes here that come down and go into the sump and then returns over there, back up. And now I can push this all the way back, get it into position and escaping. So that's the hardscaping, rocks and wood. It's nothing like the original scape that I did last time, but that's fine. These things always evolve anyway. Um, I'm going to fill it now and I might come back in with more sand later. The sand has got a bit mixed because if you remember the last time I had a mixture of uh, planting substrate, clay sand and then the new sand. So it all got a bit mixed in the, the moving. So I'll put in another top layer if I need it. We'll see what it looks like first, but I'm going to fill it. And to fill, in that cupboard there, I've managed to find a little route down to the fish room, uh, to the water source that I've got at the fish room. So I should be able to do water changes and stuff up here with the same temperature water. Uh, and I'm also going to make use of a second HMA filter, which is this thing here. Um, HMAs, if you haven't used them before, stands for heavy metal axe, but it basically removes impurities from your tap water. So you don't need to do anything like Seachem Safe or Prime or any of the other water conditioners or anything like that. So we can just go straight from the tap, turn the tap, fill it up. Uh, I can get a hose out the front door or the kitchen just there to drain. And then I can fill up through the HMA. But this one has seen better days or it, <laughs> it needs its cartridges changing. It's been used for a while. So an HMA. Oh, so weak after lifting that thing. Very basic um, description. It's a three stage filter, water filter. It has a sediment filter, which is this one. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, but I'm going to give it a fresh set of filters anyway. This is just, if you run one of these on your tap water, you can use them. People use them for drinking water and all that kind of stuff as well. Run one of these for six months and see the colour that comes out. And that's what you're drinking every day. It'll make you appreciate something like this. So I've got a brand new one, stick that in. I've got new filters for everything. Normally it's a, a sediment filter, which is this first one. You get them in different sizes, five micron, 10 micron, two micron, depending on what you want. Uh, and they just screw in like this. And then your second two are usually a carbon block and carbon granule filter. There are all manner of different types and grades of filter. I won't bore you with that. Um, but depending what you want to do with it, you might change your mind on what you want to get in terms of the filters. You can get longer ones, so you can have a higher flow rate. You can have different uh, types of granule filter, which remove different types of things. But for my purposes, the standard is fine. So we'll get that hooked up, put it in the cupboard, start filling this tank. And there we go, it's up and running, leak free, everything we wanted. Oh, hang on, look at Santa Paws down here. Yeah, really happy. So we've just got hardscape at the moment. Um, I haven't got any of the plants in, I haven't got the fish in yet, obviously. I just want to keep it running for a few days just to double check. Um, but we'll get the fish in next, so make sure you click that subscribe button and tune in for the next one. We'll get plants and fish and everything's going to look great I think just in time for Christmas every time I set up a tank like this I always think oh actually it's quite good with just the hardscape but I know it'll look so much better with plants but I kind of kept an homage to the original scape we've got the three leaning pieces of wood there with some accents and rocks I do need to get in and sort out the substrate I'm not entirely happy with that so we, uh, I'm going to See whether I can learn to love it or live with it. Uh, obviously it's all mixed, there's different types of sand, there's gravel, there's things going on in there. I want to move that around and shape it a little bit more, but so far so good.
Here you go, got some plants in, we've got the new sand in, and the fish as well. So we've got everything, almost everything. There's a couple more fish I need to catch to get in here. But it's looking loads better. A lot of the plants didn't survive the various ripping out and putting back again. The sand, it looks much better, it's much cleaner on the, the substrate, but there's still, and I knew there was always going to be, there's still a little bit of the the mix happening, and that will just get worse over time, but I think it's, it's more natural when it does it over time. Oh, I'll learn to love it. Yeah, but really happy, I think it's looking great. Just happy to have my tank back properly. Touch wood, this one doesn't leak anytime soon. As per before, we've got the discus, the Congo tetras, Lestis tetras, thereby Cory's, but I've also added some of the angels in. I have never had angels with discus before, but it's a very common question I get. And well, I think it's fine. You hear and read all these things about rogue angels just going mental and killing everything in the tank. I wanted to just experience it myself, so when someone asks me, I can talk from a place of experience rather than just, well, I've heard that it's fine most of the time. So we'll see how these guys get on in here. But very happy with this. I think it's looking good. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you like this kind of thing, please click that subscribe button, click the little bell as well, so you know when I'm going live, which is usually every Friday at 9 p.m. UK time. Any questions, come along and ask them there. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Loads of stuff coming up, so, like I say, hit that bell. Bye-bye.